Those that don't know is a double end transaction is if a uh, listing agent also represents the buyer in a transaction. So sometimes a listing agent will make the full, uh, let's say they a listing agent will have a listing agreement with their client, the seller, and it'll say, hey, you're, you're agreeing to pay 5% of the commission. But I'm going to offer this on the MLS for cooperating agents or buyer agents come in and if they bring a buyer, I'll share my commission mm-hmm. uh, with them. So that would be a lot of times it's 50%. So it'd be right. two and a half percent of that five percent. So that split right in half goes. So you're saying, hey, you're willing to pay that buyer's agent. So that's gone. Well, if they get the commission, the five percent, now that buyer comes unrepresented. That happens today, even with the Zillow world. Mm-hmm. You know, a buyer comes like you're you're explaining your mm-hmm. your situation on yep. the property you're looking at, or your friend's property is that they went direct to the listing agent because they're the ones actually responding to the phone calls. Right. So you got some lazy or lackadaisical buyer agents up there missing out on opportunities, mm-hmm. and then you're going directly to the listing agent. All right. So that's a double end. So that listing agent is double ending the deal. They're gonna get paid a little bit more usually to to do both sides of the transaction. Their duties, at least in California, fiduciary responsibilities only to the seller. So they actually are not as responsible to you as a buyer as they are to the seller in that situation. So you're less protected and represented as a buyer if you go directly to the listing agent. Some people understand that risk. Some people don't know that risk. It's a higher risk for mediation or lawsuits or different things that come up. I think for a little bit, we might see more double-ended transactions yep. in California. There are some states that are outlawing 